Texans definitely have multiple options to help out Davis Mills in the quarterback position. What do I mean by that? Cue the intro. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan, Davis Mills should be the starting quarterback in 2021. Let me open up the video by saying that. But let me also say that offensively, the Texans lack weapons. Yes, you have potential in Nico Collins. Yes, you have potential in Brevin Jordan. Brandon Cooks has been very consistent and has exceeded the expectations since coming here, in my opinion. But overall, I think Davis Mills and the Houston Texans could really benefit by having somebody to compete with Davis Mills for the job and not necessarily win the job, but yet Davis Mills still wins it. And that name who has been floating around and trending all over Texas Twitter is Marcus Mariota. The guy who, yes, was the second overall pick by the Tennessee Titans way back when, coming out of Oregon, never lived up to expectations, got a playoff win, uh, and did some pretty solid things with the Oakland, Las Vegas Raiders. So, hey, why not bring in a Marcus Mariota to the Houston Texans? Definitely somebody that could come in and is actually known for being a kind of open to making sure that whoever the starting quarterback is, he'll give them the tips, the trades, the lessons, stuff like that. And so Marcus Mariota is already known for that. He's a really good guy, actually, too. And on top of all that, and this is the biggest point, and credit to the Texans wire if you don't follow them, but the biggest point is Marcus Mariota creates – for the lack of offensive capability the Houston Texans lack. Marcus Mariota, you can have six plays. Three, three, here we go. Mariota, red zone opportunities for him. You know, whether it's running the ball, passing the ball, in between RPOs with him. I'm not saying he's going to take over or anything as a quarterback, but it's definitely something that they can use similar to how they did with the Las Vegas Raiders, even similar to how Taysom Hill's being used with the New Orleans Saints. Obviously, Taysom Hill is a lot thicker, and he can run in between tackles. Uh, Mariota's not going to do that, but his legs are something that you have to take account of for. His arm is something that you got to take account of for, especially when you're down in the red zone, especially for Pep Hamilton, who with the Indianapolis Colts struggled with red zone offense and efficiency down there with someone like Marcus Mariota. If there is any chance the defense has to game plan for him uh, during the week before Saturday, Sunday and get ready for him and have to take an hour, two hours out of their time to schedule and game plan for Marcus Mariota, that is an absolute win for the Houston Texans. And I think they'd be dumb not to go after Mariota and open up the playbook for him. And that's only going to help out Davis Mills and the Houston Texans offense even be more, just more diverse. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for the notice to turn on, drop your comments or reactions, down below in the comment section, let me know what do you think, guys. This is one of the first free agency videos, and I'm going to be doing a lot more. Little is more. Mariota, should he be on the Houston Texans? Make sure you drop your comments down below. What do you think? Do you think he should be? Do you think he shouldn't? Do you think it's a dumbass idea? Or do you think it could be a really good idea? I'm on the fence of really damn good idea. You're dumb enough not to entertain it. As always, guys. Go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. Oh, Jalen Green. Yeah, have a blessed day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.